Hey everyone, I'm back at Woodford Reserve here in Versailles, Kentucky, and I'm going to learn how to make the perfect Kentucky Derby mint julep. I've got master taster Elizabeth O'Neill next to me and she's gonna talk me through the recipe and I just learned the coolest fact. So it's about 10 a.m. when we're doing this taping and tell, tell them what you told me. Yes, so mint juleps were originally meant to be consumed in the morning. So back when people didn't have ibuprofen and aspirin and all these different uh, drugs to take that would help with their ailments mm -hmm. in the mornings, they would have a mint julep to help soothe all those aches and pains. So, I mean, it's med this is practically medicine right here. <laughs> so put your Bloody Marys away, grab the Woodford mint julep. Yeah, the oh. mint's refreshing, it's good. It do I can smell it from here, it's yes. an amazing smell. Yes. Okay, so what's the recipe, first okay. of all? So the recipe is very simple. Mm -hmm. It is sugar and water. We like sugar, we like water. Mint. Love mint. Woodford Reserve bourbon. Perfect. That is, I mean, that's a recipe for success. Yes. And then the other piece is, is you got to have crushed ice. Okay. You don't want big ice. You want crushed ice. Crushed so it ice. just kind of melts like a big Well, kind of most people slushy. have those, you know, cool refrigerators. So the work's done for them, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Exactly. So let's get started. So okay. what's first? Okay. So I'll, I'll lead and you can follow. Okay. So we're going to do a tablespoon of sugar in your cup. So here okay, you go. So if you, if you like it less sweet, I mean, you can yeah. change this, right? Yeah, well, you can change it all to your palate. So if you want more I'm sugar. I'm a sugar girl. So, so put sugar and you can load it up. There. Yeah, there we go. That's good. And then water. So okay. we have our water and you do one ounce water. So basically you're making a simple syrup in the glass. So do that. So we're hydrating. Hydrating, that's right. So one ounce water. Can I have your water? Oh, good. Perfect. There we go. So then you're going to take a few mint leaves. I like to do about three or four, just to get some good size ones. Okay. One, two, oh, there's a big one. There's a big one. Oh, it's get stuck. It. There we go. Oh, we got fresh we go. mint. So it's just, <laughs> there we go. Got and three. so just kind of, I squeeze it a little bit and okay. drop it into the glass. Waking it up, waking up waking the flavors. Waking it up. Take your muddle and just smush it in there very um, technical term. <laughs> Get some schmush on. But it really helps bring out the mint flavor. So now I don't have a muddle, so probably like the back of a wooden spoon would work? Yes, okay. anything that kind of has a little bit of a flat edge that you can kind of just express all just the oils Just a schmusher. Out. Yeah. Grab a schmusher. Okay. Tap that there. off. Very technical cool. terms. So now is the ice part. Okay. So you're going to take ice and you want to do, it's, it's kind of, you build it in the glass. So you take your ice and it gets kind of messy because it's it's so, water. It's not that messy. Yes. So you fill it up, fill up your glass with your ice. Just like so. Cool. There you go. And then done we're going to use oh, yep. two ounces of Woodford Reserve. The very magic the ingredient. The good stuff. The good stuff. Okay. So glug, glug, glug. There you go. Thank you. And then after you do that, you stir it up. So I just learned that it's five to seven years, right, in the barrel? Yes. So this drink is already five to seven years old. Oh, yeah. Capturing like all that. that flavor. Let's go ahead and mix it up. Okay. Looks good. All right. And then we top it off with more ice. But before we do that, I like to garnish it first because sometimes it can be hard to get your mint. Afterwards. So I'll have you, so go oh, ahead and perfect. tuck that down in your glass. Very fancy. Very fancy. And this because is how it comes the at, the, at the derby, yeah, right? Yeah, you want Just the like mint this. there so you can breathe it in as you're drinking. That's Sounds part good. of the whole experience. So take your ice, top it off. You don't have to worry about being neat because <laughs> I'm not. A little ice mound. A little it's like ice an icy. Mound. Yeah. It's your own little bourbon icy. Bourbon icy. Okay. Ooh, and you just yeah. want it to get cold. And the reason you use a, one of these glasses that this is a copper one, and you'll see it gets frosty on the outside. Oh, yeah. And it stays cool. So um, put your straw in there off to the side. And voila. Cheers. Cheers. To our morning, morning medicine. <laughs> oh. It's good. Perfect. It's good. Good if job. If you have a sore throat, it's been cured. Yes. <laughs> so at the Kentucky Derby, get your Woodford Reserve mint julep. Enjoy the day. And if you're not going, make them at home, throw a party, and bring your girlfriends. Yes. Yeah.